People all over the world have played with string. With one piece of string, you can make a moth or a butterfly. Could be a bow tie, could be a bow for my hair. That same piece of string can change, move, and become something else like a gate. And if you watch that gate, it can open up. Now they play games like cat's cradle, you know, the one where you wrap it around your hands and then you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That game started out in China and in Japan a thousand years ago. And besides playing games, you can also tell stories. There was a house in the woods. There was once a woman who lived in this house and every day she used to go for a walk. And one day she came back from her walk and she saw something scurry away from that house. She didn't know who or what it was, but when she walked into her house, she realized who or what that little critter was, that animal. It had been in her house. Her feather pillows were ripped to shreds, feathers all over. Coffee, sugar, flour knocked off her shelves. Her potted plants dumped over. Dirt in every room. The place was a pit. So she took her broom and she cleaned her house from top to bottom. And she cleaned, 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 and it took her all morning to clean up that house. Well, she was rather hungry, so she made a large bowl of soup for lunch. And while she was eating her soup, she saw a strange pair of eyes looking at her from the corner. They were kind of greenish colored eyes, they were making a funny noise. She went to investigate, and it was her cat. Well, that cat came and rubbed up against her leg. You know how cats do. And then the cat jumped up on her bed, which was covered with a patchwork quilt. Well, that woman looked at that cat and started getting a little suspicious. You see, that cat had feathers stuck on his ears. Mm-hmm. A little bit of flour on his tail. Yeah. And it wasn't long before she figured out who trashed her house. That cat was going outdoors. It would never set foot in her house again. And just as she was ready to throw the little fur ball out, uh, she stopped. She remembered something. You know that morning she went for her walk? Well, she did not feed the cat breakfast. So maybe it was just hungry and looking for something to eat. So she took a small bowl, put some in, of her soup in the small bowl, and she and the cat remained 